So you have your user database set up and you have learned how to add new users from your Airtable or from Soft Studio. You want your user to be able to sign up, log in, or even reset their password on their own. Well, this is the video for you and we'll walk through that together. Let's first make four pages, one for new users to sign up, one for returning users to sign in, one for forgot password, and one for reset password. Now let's first go to our sign up page and add a sign up block. For this video, we're going to be focusing on functionalities the flow only, so we will skip styling and inserting new images and text. Now scroll down on the block settings, and here you will see two toggles. One is to enable Google sign up, and we're going to skip these for now and come back later with a dedicated video for Google integrations. You also have another option to enable domain-based signup, which limits um, those users with a certain domain email only to be able to sign up here. This is more commonly used for internal tools and we will be turning these off for this tutorial. For the form fields, they are automatically mapped, but you can change the text if you want. For the button, you can change the copywriting, but the functionality is already built, built in for you. You can also link to your terms and conditions here, um, or you can simply just toggle that off until you have them ready. Next, you can show the sign in button for returning users, and we can link the button to open the sign in page that we just made. You can also choose to make it open in a new tab, but uh, that's completely optional and up to you. And then you can choose where your users will be heading to once they are successfully signed up. Commonly, you can bring them to your portal or onboarding page to get them familiar with your tools um, and your application. It is all up to you. I'm just going to leave it as home. Now let's go to set up the sign-in page. The workflow is very similar. Let's add a sign-in block. We are going to turn off Google here and leave the form fields unchanged. The sign-in button is also already configured by default. We'll also leave the forgot password toggle on and add an action to link it to our forgot password page. We'll also give the users the option to head to the sign up page here, just in case they're here by mistake or they want to create a new account. And for the page after sign in, again, it's up to you. I'm going to leave it as home. Lastly, let's head to the forgot password page and add the forgot password block. After that, we will head to reset password page and then add a reset password block. These two works together, but you don't need to link them up um, to make it work. Software already does the job for you, um, but you just have to make sure you have both the pages and then both the blocks set up. To finish off, don't forget to add sign up or sign in button on your header or on your homepage to sign up to your application. And let's publish, give it a try. As you can see, the user can come onto the sign up page from here. And they can also switch between sign in and sign up if they want. Um, if they're having trouble signing, signing in, they can simply click on the forgot password link here. And on this page, they are prompted to insert the email that they signed up to your application with. And if the email is correct, they, they will be sent an email with the reset password page link. For new users, they can just input their email, their name and the password. Um, click sign up and ready to go. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like these down the line. Um, consider liking this video, share that with your NoCo fellows. Um, also comment down below to let me know what kind of video you want me to make next. Um, until next time, ciao.